and uh, myself Jayashree. The subject is social skills. So start the class. Yesterday I have given the homework. Um, some questions I have given. Some students have answered for the very good students. Keep it up. And remaining students, for the remaining students, you also try to answer the questions. Okay. And you can uh, remember while writing the answers, you can remember what you have learned in the today's class. And any doubt is there, you can ask me. But doubt. You can contact me any time. Yesterday has given the number to you. You can contact me for that number. Okay. Which are the questions yesterday has given? The questions are the how many districts are there in the Bangalore division? No? What is the answer? Nine districts. Isn't it? Who had the title Nataka Ratna? Nataka Sarvabhuma. Who had the title Nataka Ratna and Nataka Sarvabhuma? The answer is would be Virata. And which district was known as the Manchester of Karnataka? Which district? Damanagere district. Who was the first ruler of the Mysore dynasty? Eduraya, he was the first ruler of the Mysore dynasty. River Kaveri originates from Dash in Kodogu district. What is the Dash? The answer is Talakaveri. And next, the last, fill in the blanks. That is Kudumala Rangarao dedicated his life for the upliftment of Dash. What is the answer? Untouchable. No, entire his life, he struggled to upliftment, develop, he wants to develop the untouchable people, lower caste people. Isn't it? So, this is a yesterday's question answers. Okay. Today also, which topic we are discussing here, the questions you will get as a coma, you have to write the everyone. It's a request to all the students. You have to uh, watch the class and afterwards write the coma. Because in this situation, we have to say, you are sitting in the home and complete your coma in time. It's a good for your future. Okay. The today's topic is Yesterday in our Karnataka, the four divisions, Bangalore and Mysore division, we have discussed. Now, today is Kalbogi division. And Belagavi division, we discuss. Okay. The importance of this division. Okay. We will discuss because already we have learned in the previous class. So next in you are, uh, have the syllabus for the seventh standard that we will start from the July uh, first. So till then just revise, be careful because this is uh, this social is very uh, helpful to when you are going for the higher class. This subject, the matters, which are the topics, are they will really continue. It will continue. So that's why we always. Uh, revise this subject. Okay. Kalburgi division has seven districts. Earlier it has the six districts, but in the year 2020, the date is 18 November, the Vijayanagara also added in the Kalburgi division. It means it has the seven districts. Kalburgi has the how many districts? Seven districts. Which are the districts? The Bida, Kalburgi, earlier six districts you know that, isn't it? Bida, Kalburgi, Yagi, Raichu, Koppala, Ballari, and Vijayanagara. Total seven districts are there. And next, another one special thing is in order to provide special status to the districts of this division, special status for the districts of this division. The central government accorded special status to this division that is under Article 371J, which is that Article 371J is given. So this is a uh, what is an opportunity for our Hyderabad Karnataka people because uh, until 1948 we are we are under the Nizama rule. So. This is considered as a backward area. That's why the central government 
given the special status to this division under the article 371J. The now I said we are under uh, Hyderabad after the independence also we are under the Hyderabad Nizam till 1948. So uh, what is that the war for the liberation of Hyderabad Karnataka? That is for the Hyderabad Karnataka India. When India attained the independence, the Hyderabad Nizam not only ready to integrate the kingdom with India, this enraged the common people. So, who launched agitation against the Nizam? Because he, his rule was very clear, for, especially for the Hindus. So, the leadership was provided by Swami Ramanatha Tirtha, Saradar Sharanagodinanda, Shivamukti Alwandi, Shiru Veerabhadrappa, and Prabhuraj Pati Sangana. Kundali Kappa were leading the agitation against the Nizam. The government of Nizam started harassing the people, even torture to the people. The special, the people revolted against the private army. The people we are tortured by the this Nizam's private army that is on the Razakas. They are given torture to the people. The central government of India undertook the direct action against the Hyderabad Nizam and annexed to it to India on 17 September 1948. So that's why this day is known as Hyderabad Karnataka Vimochana Day. Every year we are celebrating Hyderabad Karnataka area people on 17 September. That is called the Hyderabad Karnataka Vimochana Day. Then the Sardar Vallabhai Patel was the Prime Minister and Pandi Jawaharlal Nehru, he was the first Prime Minister of Independent India. Now, natural resources of this division. Natural resources. The important rivers of this division are Bhima, Tungabhadra, Krishna, Mullamari, and Benetare, Karanja Dam is a boom to be the district. So very uh, like a lifeline to the lifeline to the be the district. The minerals of this division are silver, gold, iron ore, limestone, and uh, manganese, some are And granite stone is available in all the districts of this division. And Tungabhadra Dam, this provides the irrigation facilities to the Raichur and Balari district. And Basavanagara Dam, built across the river Krishna, provides irrigation facility to Raichur and the Kalburgi district. So this all made the, the districts rich. And forest and the wildlife. Here, this division is forest deficit division. There are no big wild animals we found here. Which are the animals we can found here? That is langur, tail, fox, deer, wolf, wild dogs are found here. And next is agriculture and industries. Agriculture and industries. Agriculture it is the main occupation of this division. We are discussing about the Kalburgi division. Okay. The average rainfall is less and the crops are grown according to the rains. As the average of the rainfall is less, the division is prone to drought often. Hence, the districts of this division are called the drought prone districts because we are. Uh, here, agriculture depends on the rain. If no, we not have the rain, the face drop. So that is, that's why these districts are known as drought prone districts. Here, iron and steel industries are there, sugar industries, cement industries, and thermal power plants, 
are the major industries of this division. And these have employed, uh, given employment to so many is, uh, in the industries, the people get the employment, isn't it? The bigger art is very famous. The bigger art of bigger is very famous. Uh, Ballari and Koppal have larger iron and steel industries. Similarly, Adhir and Kalburgi have huge cement industries. In Adhir and Kalburgi, we have the cement industries. And Hampi, Tunamudra Dam, Sanatti of Kalburgi district, Khaja Bandi Namaz Darga, and the fort of Bidar, Basava Kalana, Hatti Gold Mine of Raichu are the major tourist centers of this division. And Hatti Gold Mine of Raichu district produces the highest gold of India. Highest gold in India. So what is the place that is Hatti, Hatti Gold Mine in the Raichu district? Now, Art, literature, music, art, literature, music, folklore, theater and dance, theater and dance. The division is poor in economically, the division is considered as poor. Okay, but it is rich in literature, music, theater, folklore, and other uh, fields. So very rich. The history of literature of Kalburgi division extends to ancient time as well. Because we should not forget what the first literary work in Kannada, that is Kaviraja Marga. First literary work in Kannada, the name is Kaviraja Marga. It was written during the time of Rashtrakuta. And Adikavi Pampa, he wrote Vikram Arjuna Vijaya. Adikavi Pampa, he wrote Vikram Arjuna Vijaya. And there are three gems of Kannada literature Pampa, Ponna, Ranna. Pampa, Ponna, Ranna. The three gems are from this division. The, right, the writer of the first grammar book, that is Shaktamani Darpana, written by Keshi Raja, he also from this division. Next is Vachana movement. The leading social reform movement of 12th century in Karnataka, the, it is called the Vachana movement, took place where in the Basava Kalyan of Kalpurgi division. Many Vachanakaras like Akrama Devi, Basavanna, Allama Prabhu, then uh, Siddha Rama, Jedar Dasi Maya, these all are, they have contributed a lot of in the field of Vachana. And Vachana movement law launched a war against the untouchability. They also against for the untouchability. Next is Dasa Sahitya. Raichu district of Kalmurgi division is the land of Dasa Sahitya. The Dasa Kuta was formed under the leadership of Sri Vasaraya. Kirtanas were written by Kanika Dasa, Purandara Dasa, and Raghavendra Tirtha. They criticized the caste system in their Kirtanas. They also criticized, condemned, or opposed the caste system to their Kirtanas and Dasa literature. Of philosopher poets or Tattva Pada Kadaru. The poets who were influenced by the Vachana movement, Dasa literature and ancient poetry was spiritual poems. The songs written by folklore artists, Fakirs and the saints, can be called as philosophical lyrics or tattva padagalu, which was composed by the Fakirs and the saints, that poems, this is called as tattva padagalu.
Kalbogidism has contributed immensely in the field of music. Musicians like Sitarana, Jambaldini, Pandit Tarana, Gazala Gundamma, and uh, Subhadramma Mansur and others they have contributed lot of in the field of music. SM Pandit of this division is famous in the field of painting. SM Pandit is famous in painting. And uh, Dodata, Sanata, Tawal Bombay are active in the folklore theater. That is, uh, uh, what is that? It started from the ancient times. That is, Dodata, Sanata, Tawal Bombay. These are active in, as a folklore theater. Beater fort of Beater, uh, toys of Kinhala and blank, blankets of the Kopala. So, very traditional arts. These are the traditional arts. Now, in the field of education and health. Education and health. The most educationally backward district of our state, Raichur and Arbi, belong to this division. Most educationally backward districts. The literacy rate, the key indicator to the education. Literacy rate, what is uh, they are calculating how many people are there? Literacy rate or illiterate. So, these uh, division. These districts are, which are the districts? Raichur and Adgir. This is the uh, low literacy rate. Backward district in the literacy. Recently, there are improvements in this area. Recently, earlier it was very uh, low in the literacy rate. But recently, some improvements uh, went there. Gulbarga University and Central University are in Kalburgi city of this division. Kannada University is in Hampi and Sri Krishna Devaraya University is in Ballari and Agriculture University it is in Raichur of this division. So these universities are showing the uh, because interest according to the interest of the people, the university schools is established. So it shows the Literacy, uh, highest li uh, literacy rate of this division. The Buddha Vihar also, it is in Kalburgi. Medical colleges are in Ballari, Kalburgi and Vida Raichur of this division. Every district has a district hospital. And health sub-centers are there to provide the health care facilities to the rural people. Uh, Actually, rural people always they are engaged in their uh, daily wage. So they are never care about their health and their children. So that's why the rural health centers always they are giving the uh, taking care of their rural people and giving the health facilities to them. Next is the cultural heritage. As already I said, Kalburgi division is uh, culturally rich. Though it is poor economically, but culturally it's rich. The districts of Kalburgi division have contributed more in the field of art, music, painting, theater, folklore, dance, and other four important ancient dynasties of Karnataka. Four important ancient dynasties. Which are the dynasties? The Rashtrakuta, Kalyana Chalukyas, Vijayanagara and Bahamani kings. These are the four major dynasties. These dynasties have encouraged art and literature. Cottage industries of the Vidar district of Vidar, toys of Kinhala, blankets of Kapala are there in this division. And the fort of Vidar, monuments of Hampi, Basama, 
monuments of Basava Kalyana are the fine examples for the architecture that is in our Kalburgi division. And next, I am going to the point that is freedom fighters, when the freedom fighters belong to this district. While the people from other parts of Karnataka participated in the freedom struggle and Karnataka integration movement, during the time Kalaburgi division had to participate in agitation against the Hyderabad Nizam. That is, uh, apart from the two above mentioned struggles, uh, these people they are uh, faced the uh, rule of Hyderabad Nizam. The national spirit in this division was the result of the movement, like R. S. Amash and Vande Matara. She, which are the uh, who were the freedom fighters, belongs to this division. She, Ramananda Tita of this division, is the prominent freedom fighter. She, Ramananda Tita. And apart from him, thousands of people joined freedom struggle. Sardar Sharan Gaudinanda, he was the prominent person in struggle that is liberation from a Nizam rule movement. The Razakars, the private army. The Razakars means what? That is the private army of Nizam. They are appointed only uh, according to the order of Nizam. They are torturing the common people and uh, harass the people. They harassed very inhumanly in Kalburgi division. So that's why after that India got independence on August 15, 1947. But our Kalburgi division became independent on September 17, 1948. Now in Kalburgi district there are seven districts the uniqueness of the uh, other districts, okay. Uniqueness, the speciality of this, of the districts. Kalaburgi district, the capital city of the Bahamani rulers. This district was divided in 2010 to create Yadgir district. The major crops of this district are pulses, maize, cotton, etc. Buddha Vihar has been built in Kalaburgi, which was inaugurated by the Tibetan leader Dalai Lama and Gangapura. The Datta Trey Center is on the banks of River Bhima. This is a pilgrimage center. Nanagapura Datta Trey Temple, it is a pilgrimage center. The district has the two universities, that is Kalburgi University and the Central University. There is 52 feet pillar in Sedan Kalba, which is called Banati Khamba. This pillar is not fixed on the ground into the ground. One can pass a thin cloth across its base. So that is a very speciality of that Bananti Kamba. And Marthur is the another historical place of this district. It is the birthplace of the Vijnaneshwara who wrote Hindu Sanghite. Who wrote Hindu Sanghite? Vijnaneshwara. There are many seven factories are there in this division. Next is Adhira district. This is a small district with three talukas. Okay. And Adhira, Surapur and Shahpur. This district was established in the year 2010. This area was ruled by Shatamahanas, Chalukyas, Rashtrakutas, Adi Shahi of and Niza. And Bihar district. The district has rich in history. It was ruled by Maurya's, Rashtrakutas, Chalukyas, 
and uh, Kalachuri, Kakatiya, Khilji, Bahamani, and the Barit Shahi kings. Kalyana, the center where the social reformer Vasavanna work is here. It is said that Dhonana, the Sikh of Guru, visited Peter, and there is a huge Gurudwara, and it is called as Dhonana Chara. Uh, this is also a holy place. And another holy place that is Narasimha Jara we found in the Bida district. The district has a forest cover of 435 square kilometers. Here we found a large uh, forest cover that is 435 square kilometers. There is a beautiful fort in the middle of Bida city. We found the beautiful fort that is middle in the Bida city. Many separate buildings are there in this fort, and that is which Rangil Mahal. It is a very beautiful. This was the capital city of Bahamani dynasty. Next, about Raichur district. Now, discussed Kalburgi, Adir, Bidar, and next is Raichur district. Raichur district is called as a Doab region because it falls between the two rivers, that is, two, between the two rivers. Rivers Tungabhadra flows to the south, whereas river Krishna flows to the north of Raichur. Between these two rivers, the, the Raichur district is situated. So it is called as the Doab region. And there are more than 100 rice mills are here in Raichur district. More than 100 rice mills we can form. The railway line that passes through Raichur, it connects every part of our country. So very major railway uh, part is there. The railway line connects Hyderabad, Mumbai, Chennai, Bangalore. An inscription of Ashoka has been found in the Raichu, Maski of Raichu. And this proves that this area was developed during that year also, during that day also. Apart from this, the Puma. Next is Kopala district. Kopala district is called as the Kashi of Jains. Kopala district is known as Kashi of Jains. And here, Bhimarama, a soldier from Mandaragi of Kopala, had participated in the first Indian freedom struggle, Bhimarama of Mandaragi. And Paddy, Mace, Cotton, and wheat are the some crops cultivated in these districts. The fruits also we found here, like mango, sapota, pomegranate, banana, and grapes we found in this. The district. Brahat Mahadeva Temple, a huge temple built by Kalyana Chalukyas, it is in Italy and it is called as Emperor of Temples. Brahat Mahadeva Temple, it is a, too beautiful and it is considered as an Emperor of Temples. Recently, many iron and steel industries have been established in this district. And the Kannada of Kokkala is called as Tiru, Tirulu Ganada. Tirulu Ganada. Next is Ballari district. Hampi, the capital city of Vijayanagara Kings, it is in Ballari district. And during the British period, this district was part of Madras state during the British rule. This district, Ballari district, it is the part of the Madras state. It was integrated into Mysore in the year 1953 after the independence. Later, it was added in the Kalburgi division in the year 1956. New, numerous monuments like in the Hampi, in the Hampi, like Ugra Narasimha, Hazara Rama Temple, Krishna Swami Temple, Kamala Mahal, Murupaksha Temple, we 
it attracts thousands of tourists very attractive place apart from this kumaraswami temple of sanduru mallikarjuna temple of kuruvatti and kaleshwara temple of bagali are the famous national mineral development corporation that is nmdc nmdc means national mineral development corporation present in dhamne malar and it is a major public sector enterprise engaged mining of iron ore the district has the two universities that is kannada university of hampi and vijayanagara krishnadevaraya university which are the two universities that is kannada university of hampi and vijayanagara university vijayanagara krishnadevaraya university okay this is about the kalburgi division and about the other uh, districts okay hope students you understood i am discussing only the main points of this uh, division districts the next is belagavi division regarding this comment if you have any doubt you can contact me okay see the four districts belagavi division the four districts of this division were in where in bombay region till 1956 four districts of the division in the bombay region they were integrated into karnataka during the reorganization new organization of the states process and dharwa district of this division was divided in the year 1997 to form the haveri and the gadag district vijayapura district was divided to form the bangalore district and this division has the seven districts total this division has the seven districts they are belagavi dharwa haveri gadag vijayapura bangalore and uttara kannada districts here it is the map of kalburgi division and districts and it is the map of belagavi division with the seven districts This area was ruled by Mogres and the Shatavahanas. Banwasi of this division was the capital of Kadambas, Badami, the capital of Chalukyas in this division. World famous temples are there in Pattadakallu, Badami and Aligarh. Badami caves have wonderful idols of Basavana Bhagavadi, Kundala Sangama. were the centers of vachana movement the districts of belagavi division have played a prominent role in the indian freedom movement rani chennamma of kitturu fought against the british in the year 1824 this was the historical movement sanbadi rayanna also struggle is an unforgettable one natural resources of this division the this this division is rich in natural resources like rivers then forest minerals deposits fertile soil krishna malaprabha ghataprabha bhima kali uh, and tungabhadra these are the major rivers of this division gokhak waterfalls uh, magodu waterfalls devamala waterfalls and apsaraponda waterfalls are famous famous and the very beautiful scenic spots we found here the division has a good tourist opportunities and the forest and the wildlife
Belagavi, Uttara Kannada, and Dharwad districts of this division have dense forest, evergreen forests are here. And uh, agriculture and the industries. Agriculture and industries. This division has a blacks and the red soil. Paddy, cotton, maize, pulses, spring, groundnuts, chili are the other major crops of this division. Fishing is the major occupation of Uttarakhanda district. There are many fish processing units are here. Grapes are grown in the more in these districts. Gulenpuda it is known for its blouse piece. And Hubali, Belagavi, Bagalakote, Gadag, and Haveri are emerging as the major industrial centers. Here, what we are discussing today the divisions. Uh, yesterday, we have discussed Bangalore division and the Mandya division, uh, which are the districts are there, and why it is famous, which district, the main crops, the wildlife, and rivers. This we have discussed. Here also same thing, Kalburgi division, the districts, why it is famous and uh, what is the, in ancient, why it is, uh, which are the rulers, kings ruled that area and which are the main crops, rivers, uh, natural resources and uh, what is the folklore, which are the industries, this all we have discussed. The same way, the Belagavi division, okay. Now, art literature, art literature, music, music, folklore, theater and dance. All the districts of this division are famous for various arts. Dharwad is famous for internationally popular Hindustani singers are there. Like Dharat Ratna, Pandit Bhim Singh Joshi, Pandit Mallik Arjun Mansur, Vidushi Gangubai Handel, Pandit Venkatesh Kumar, uh, Pandit Basaraj Rajguru and others they are belongs to Dharwad district. Many poets who composed the poems in Kannada during medieval period are belongs to this division. They are Ranna, Nagachandra, Nayana Sena, Kumarabhasa, Chamarasa, Basamanda, uh, Kanakadasa, and the Shishunara Sharifa. Nyana Peter, sorry, and these all are belongs to this division. Next is in the field of education and health. This is overall uh, famous. Next is district wise the legal education and health. Dharwad, Belagami, and Vijayapura are the educational centers of this division. And Karnataka University it is in Dharwad. Kupali has Karnataka Law University, and Belagami has the Rani Chennamma University, and the Vishweshwarya Technical University. Vijayapura has Karnataka State Women's University and Bhagalakute has a Horticulture University. The Belagavi Division have achieved a lot of progress in the health sector. Rural areas have primary health centers. These, there are many sub health centers in villages. Medical colleges also running their own hospitals. Now, Cultural heritage. Cultural heritage. Belgaavi division has rich in the cultural heritage. It has contributed a lot of art, music, theatre, and the literature. Gana Yogi Panchakshari Gawai, he has provided shelter to the blind children 
and has encouraged for the music education. Badagi is the market for chili and uh, Mahalingapura is for jaggery and Vijaypura is for grapes. Famous. Monuments of this division are world famous that is Badami Patnatakallu and Ayubare are symbols of Karnataka heritage. Now, freedom fighters. Freedom fighters. As said earlier, the struggle against British had started in Kitturu of this division as early and as in the 19th century. We shall not forget that freedom struggle started it in Belagavi division. Thousands of people from this division have participated in the freedom struggle. Among them, Siddhappa Kambali, Alur Venkatara, uh, Nasu Hadikar, Hadikar Manjappa, Gangadhar, Gangadhar Rao Deshpande, R. R. Divakar, Nadosh Patil Kutappa, and others they have participated in the freedom movement. P. G. Halkati, who is also known as the father of Kachana, and he was a journalism. Mohare Namantaraya and Patil Kutappa motivated the people to participate in the freedom movement through their newspapers. Now, districts. District wise, we will learn. Okay. So, Belagavi is the, the districts, huh? how many districts are there? District wise, we will learn. First is Marwad district. Darwad is famous for cultural center of Kalurgi and it is a land of literature, music and education. A sweet meat named Dharwad Peda, it is very famous. Everyone may be eat that Dharwad Peda. It is a very sweet and very uh, nice to eat. It is many industries belonging to this uh, to Tata group are here. Many industries belonging to Tata group are here. Next is about Haveri district. The district it was formed in the year 1997. There are many historical temples are there in these districts. Nagareshwara Temple of Bankapura, Maltish Temple of Devaraguda, and Siddheshwara Temple of Chalukya period attract the attention of more people. And the rock garden of Gotagodi, Gotagodi has achieved international famous. That means it belongs to the Haveri district. Haveri is the home of so many writers and the artists. It is said that poet Sarvagna was born here. Sarvagna was born in the Haveri district. Shishunara Sharifa belonged to this place. The birthplace of Kankadas, Bada, is in this district. Kankadas' birthplace is Bada, it is in the Haveri district. There are many temples in uh, Kaginere where Kanakadasa institution is housed. That is also belongs to in this district. Next is Gadar district. District. It is created by dividing Dharwad district in the year 1997. The history of this district is can be traced back 11th and 12th century common era. An attempt is being made to great medical plants in Kapata Buddha, a hill known for its biodiversity. It is a this the history of this district can be tracked back to 11th and 12th century. And uh, this an attempt to be made to grow medical plants in Kapata Buddha. Medical plants is uh, we found in the Kapata Buddha, a hill known for its biodiversity. 
there are many kinds of uh, plants we found in that uh, area. Some are used as for the medical uh, use as in the medical field. The poetry written by Kumaragasa that is Karnataka Bharata Katha Manjari. Kumaragasa written Karnataka Bharata Katha Manjari. It's a famous as Kumaragasa Bharata. And Vijay Vijaypura district. Next is Vijaypura district. The world famous Kolumba city is in Vijaypura district. This is called as the whispering dome. The gold gumbas, it is called as a whispering dome. During the rule of Chalukyas, this was named as Vijayapura. This district Vijayapura named as Vijayapura. Delhi Sultans were invading this again and again. Apart from this, the Adi Shai had to fight with the Vijayanagara kings. Many places related to Basavanna of Vachana movement are in this district. Basavakalana is his place of activity. Next, the sugarcane and cotton, these are the main commercial crops of this division. Vijaypura is a very good for the education center also. Karnataka State Women's University we found here. There are many engineering and medical colleges also we found in this uh, district. Next is Bangalore District. Bangalore District. Bangalore District it was created by dividing Vijaypura District in the year 1997. The temples here are formed by cutting the rocks and forming caves. These have been identified the World Heritage Center. Banashankari Temple of Shiva, Shiva Yoga Temple of this district are very popular. Pallavas, Vijayanagara kings and Adi Shahi rulers, Nizama, Marathas and Britishers, they were ruled this district. Next is Belagavi district. Belagavi is most famous border districts of Karnataka. Its borders Goa and Maharashtra. It was called as Venu Brahma, which means Bamboo village. The Goka Falls of this district it is very famous. The Goka Mill has given employment for the many people. Rani Chandama University is here, Vishweshwaraya Technical University also is housed here. There are many engineering and medical colleges we found in this district. This district is one of the major industrial centers of the Karnataka. There are many sugar, sugar factories also we found in this district. The government of Karnataka has built Suvarna Sauda on the lines of Vidhan Sauda of Bangalore here. Next, the Uttara Kannada district. Uttara Kannada district. Uttara Kannada, it is a famous coastal district. Karwa is the center, its center. The total forest cover of this district stands at 70%. Fishing is the main livelihood of the people. This district receives yearly average rainfall and Banamasi of this district was the capital of the Kadambas. And Kadambas, Chalukyas, Rashtrakutas, Parisadas, Vijayanagara kings, Marathas and Britishers ruled this area. So it is said that if the place was a commercial center since ancient times. 
this district was captured by marathas in the year 1750 common era and next the nobel winning author rabindranath tagore he had visited this place in the year 1882 he has written a chapter on his visit to karwa in his autobiography the important force of this division are that is batkal hanavar ka karwar tadi belakeri konkani belakeri these are the important force of this district konkani language they are used as the uh, language with kannada these are the afghashini sharavati kali gangavati these are the major rivers flow in this division so this is a Where, uh, we have discussed about the districts which belongs to the Belagavi division. So related the Kalburgi division and the Belagavi division. You have few questions. Write it, and tomorrow I will give answers for the questions. How many districts are there? Eight thousand districts. Under each section. the indian constitution